one thing I ask, one thing I seek, is, is to, to live, live in the house of the Lord. Lord. Every breath, every word, every thought, every moment, every minute, every day. 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. 1,440 minutes. All for God's glory. I don't have any Wi-Fi. What? This, yes. What do you mean what? Yes. I'm here all the time when I get it. Come on, give it that. So let's yeah. see. Give me that. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Are you Mr. Good? Wi-Fi. Um, hey. That's hey. not even what Wi-Fi hey guys, sounds guys, like. Guys, guys. What hey. are you using? Right. Dial-up? What are you talking about? Honestly, let you guys. Me see you guys. Hey. Malia, I am typing a comment and it froze. Okay, what I would understand you do? That, but I'm to find it. I understand that, but there are more important things than Wi-Fi. Okay. Pastor Quest actually is going to talk about it this week. He's going to talk about it with some local high schoolers here about how there's about more wifi? important things. Yes. I guess. About Wi-Fi. Okay. Then and I'll there watch. are more important things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You guys ready okay. to watch this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess so. Okay. If, if, oh, if we'll we'll okay. we'll watch we'll it, fine. Right. As long as we get Wi-Fi. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and watch something unexpected. It's it is time, time for unexpected. Unexpected. I'm just so so, so excited okay. to get unexpected. Right. Are you yes. Right? yes, yes, yes. You don't look that excited. Don't ever question my you, you excitement. Still, you, no. still, you still feeling it from last week? I'm still feeling it. My tongue's still it's been a whole seven days. Been, walk across a bed of no, a bed of Legos. You barefoot. did not. This is the worst thing you can do to somebody. I didn't sign up for this. Oh, okay. Okay. Rocker says he goes first. No, like rock, paper, scissors, who does it? I and shoot? Yes. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> okay. I'm getting this ready. Step right in the middle. I'll get this ready for you. Look at this. Hold. Don't step. Please hold. It's a glass door. Damn. You take the bare foot. No. Not sock foot, bare foot. I'm wearing sock. A- Socks are all okay. Oh, this is blasphemy. All your pressure. Oof. Oh, you know what? I think it's a myth. Oh. You see, there you go. <laughs> that's my, bo- that's my booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Is that? Oh, that was okay. Right Oof. back this way. I'm going to go barefoot. Go ahead. I- expose your toes to I'm the feeling world. it. Goodness. Whew. I'm feeling toe amazing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't feel too good, does it? Does it? <laughs> it's like an old man. It's like a jump on these. Why are you... Sp- <laughs> you walk past. Why go back? You're done. <laughs> and that was <laughs> unexpected. What's going on, everybody, 1440 students and parents, wherever you're watching, however you're watching, we're just so excited that you've joined us today. And listen, actually, we are, if you watched last week, you saw that we have been sitting around the table together and you need to quit eating. This just, (laughs) I've been watching you eat this whole time. And so anyway, I'm kidding. Uh, But man, we are in a series on thankfulness. It's called The Attitude of gratitude. And if you joined us last week, of course, Pastor Catherine uh, brought the word with some of our other middle school friends. And so today I am joined by two high school buddies of mine, Joshua and Judah. And you guys happen to be brothers. Is that correct? Maybe. Which one of you is stronger? Me, obviously. You won't even let him talk. (laughs) Yes. You're the mouthier one. Is that what it is? Okay. Uh, Uh, What do you think? Oh, he's all talk game. Oh my goodness. We need to take this. Can we just take this all outside <laughs> and do a little arm wrestling competition? Okay, we're not going to do that. But uh, listen, we're so excited you've joined us today. I can't believe it's November. Uh, November, y'all. Okay, but here it is. It's already November. And here's what I love. Here's what I love about this. November comes before December. Yeah, I know. I know my calendar. Good job, right? But here's what I really love. I love that the holiday, the celebration of Thanksgiving comes before Christmas. Because I think that without a posture of thankfulness and an attitude of gratitude, you can't properly and adequately enjoy and be thankful for the holiday and the gift that is Christmas, salvation, everything that's wrapped up wrapped up in that. We're gonna be talking about that a little bit today. Uh, but before we do, I wanna go straight to the Word of God. Can we do that? Can we do that together? I wanna look at the book of Luke, um, and we're gonna be looking at the story of the 10 lepers 
who were healed, cleansed by Jesus. Jesus literally takes the risk and he goes right into a leper colony to heal these lepers. If you know anything about a leper and a leper colony, you don't do that. You know, uh, leprosy, especially at the time, was something that was so very contagious and so very worrisome for people. The fact that they had leprosy meant that they were going to have to leave the community altogether and separate themselves from the rest of the world, literally, and live in this little colony to die. And so Jesus, being Jesus, said, I don't care. So here we have Jesus is literally healing 10 lepers, not five, not six. 10 lepers and at the time what you would do is is if you were experiencing a healing or a cleansing you were sent to the priests to go confirm your healing so jesus in this moment heals 10 lepers sends them to go get their healings confirmed by the priests jesus didn't need you know oh let's go confirm jesus they were healed and they were cleansed and so what I wanna do is I wanna pick up now in scripture, and I wanna read this to you. After Jesus sent all 10 lepers to go confirm their healing, this is what he said, and this is Luke chapter 17. I'm, I'm gonna look at verse 17, and this is the New King James Version. It reads this, so Jesus answered and said, listen to this, I love this. Were there not 10 of you cleansed? And now this is after one of the lepers turned around and said, See, I can't even help but preach, even at the table, man. <laughs> but even one of the lepers turns around and says, thank you. Showed an attitude of gratitude for the healing. Showed thankfulness for that healing. And Jesus, picking up in the scripture, kind of sarcastically, I, I get the point, says this. Were there not 10 cleansed? But where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Verse 19. And he said to him, arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. I just, I just, I love the fact, there's a few things I love. I love that even one out of 10 bothered to turn around and say thank you for their healing. I also love the fact that Jesus bothered to call it out. That's my kind of guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's kind of my kind of preacher, you know. He bothered to call out, honestly, their lack of thankfulness in that situation. And so something I wanted to talk with you guys about as we kind of continue is, is, you know, I feel like there's so many things to be thankful for. Uh, in our daily day-to-day -day lives and I feel like most of us fail to stop and say you know Lord thank you like th thank you for thank you thank you that I'm even saved thank you that I have a place to stay thank you that I had a ride to school today thank you that I have friends thank you that there's breath in my lungs and uh, I love this because 1 Thessalonians 5 chapter 16 says this out of the NIV rejoice always so when do we stop? Ever. Never. Never. It says rejoice always, pray continually. When do we stop praying? Never. Never. <laughs> rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks, I love this, give thanks in all circumstances. And I know we read this before. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And that's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16. Rejoice always, except when things get tough. Is that what he said? No. no, no, no. He said rejoice. He, he said rejoice always except on Tuesdays when you had that bully or whatever that issue was, right? It didn't say that. No. It said rejoice, rejoice always. Rejoice always. Continuously, yeah. never ending. Yeah, mm -hmm. never ending. It doesn't stop. That, that posture of thankfulness, that posture of I've got something to be thankful for supersedes anything I went through that day. This is where most people fail at thankfulness. They fail at that attitude of gratitude is when, and, and I'm guilty of it too sometimes, it's, it's those moments when we're so used to everything surrounding us, and I'm used to the day-to-day. -day. I'm used to opening up the fridge and there's milk in there. I'm, I'm used to having gas in my car on the way to work. I, I'm used to having a car that actually works on the way to work, right? I'm used to having a place to stay. I'm used to having a TV in my room. I'm Most of us are so used to our day-to-day -day that we forget how extraordinary our days are. And so for so many of us, what we consider ordinary is actually, seriously, if you stop and think about it, pretty extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, I would agree. Like not a lot of people have that kind of stuff that mm -hmm. we have. So we should be thankful for what we have that other people might not have. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. What about you? Same thing. Uh, we have things that other people don't. Mm -hmm. Most of us think a bad day is having no Wi-Fi. <laughs> when for some of us, a bad day is having no water. 
right? I mean, mm -hmm. I know it just gets quiet. But because I think that American, especially for us in Texas, it doesn't get any more American than that, right? <laughs> Texas. <laughs> but I think honestly, there's such a culture of I've got everything I need and the second I lose Wi-Fi, I misplaced my iPhone charger, all the basic little things that are actually very extraordinary, we lose that posture of thankfulness. And here's, here's something that I wanna kinda throw out there. We're gonna have in a minute an actual uh, thankfulness challenge that we talked about a minute ago, but I'm gonna throw this challenge out there. I wanna encourage you guys to make a list of everything you're thankful for, all of the things God's done in your life, all of the, everything from thank God for running water, thank God I've got a school, thank God I have an education. And I think that the most of us, if we compared our list of thankfulness things and our list of complaining things, our list of thankfulness things would be a whole lot longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love this because the book of Psalms, if you read, I mean, if you really read through that entire book, so many scriptures will say, I give thanks because, and then their reason. I give thanks because, I give thanks because, not one scripture, a whole, like read it front to back, book of mm -hmm. I give thanks because so many of us have more to be thankful for than we realize. And I think if we woke up with that posture of, I give thanks today because, I give thanks today because, there's something about getting the because in front of your eyes at all times. And I'm telling you, statistics even show, guys, this is what's so interesting about this. Would you like to be able to sleep better at night? Mm -hmm. Yes, so would I, right? Statistics actually show, research actually shows that an attitude of gratitude actually promotes good manners. So for some of you parents out there who are dealing with, <laughs> not you guys, you're perfectly mannered people. Yeah. Aren't you? Uh, but an attitude of gratitude literally promotes good manners, better health, mental, physical health, that, that an attitude of gratitude also, believe it or not, promotes better sleep. Do you think God knew what he was doing? when he told us rejoice always, rejoice always. You have something to be thankful for no matter what it looks like and in all circumstances. Not only is it good for your health, but it keeps you in right standing with God and in, in, uh, in his righteousness. And it, it's a powerful thing. All right, 1440, we just wanna take a minute. There's a lot of traveling going on this season. So we just wanna pray over everyone's safety and everyone gets where they're going yeah, safely absolutely. and without any incidents. So Lord, we just take this before you right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for complete safety. We pray Psalm 91 over every student and every family that goes on the road during this trip, that there will be safe travel, Lord, that not only will there be safe travel physically, but also emotionally and spiritually, that there won't be any strife, that there won't be any issues on the road, that they will have a peaceful trip and that they will enjoy their trip and that all around they'll just get to where they're going with no issues. We'll knock out that out. Yeah, no, no, no. And Father, we thank you that they're blessed going in and they're blessed going out. They're yes. blessed in the field. Yes. They're blessed in their house, Father. Yes. That everywhere they go, everywhere they travel, whether it's by car, by train, by flight, whether they're walking to their friend's house, Father, that yes. everywhere they're traveling, there is blessing in every single one of their footsteps, Father, that they are protected from the top of their head to the bottom yes. of their feet, yes. Lord. There's no question about whether they're going to get there all right, whether right. something's going to break down, Father, but they Shut are completely up. protected yes. from the beginning to the in. And we just thank you for that, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So we were talking about um, at the beginning of this program how I love the fact that Thanksgiving kind of comes before Christmas. This is not a Christmas message, but I just wanted to share a funny Christmas story about my kids and why it has everything to do with Thanksgiving and an attitude of gratitude. Do you have any funny yeah. Christmas stories? I'll come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one year, you know, we were opening Christmas presents. I had this Christmas present. I think it was a truck, but I don't exactly know. How old were you? Five, six. Yeah, five, six. <laughs> I got, um, I don't even remember what I got. I just, like, I hated it so much. I don't even remember. <laughs> Did you guys ever get jealous of each other's gifts? 100%. Yes, 100%. Every single year. Every single year. He always year. had what I wanted, he, and I always had what he wanted. Did you guys just switch out and call it a day? One time like, we you did. You know what? Yeah, 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 we we we'll call it a day, right? Do you we guys ever do that? We did do that. Wow. So, <laughs> one, well, I got to tell the story. The one time my brother, my younger brother, he got this, he got a new bike, and it was like a dirt bike, so it had the body of a dirt bike. Oh my God, it was so cool. And I thought my bike was so lame. I was so mad at my dad. I was so ticked. 
can you see I'm still twitching? I'm so upset <laughs> about this bike, but no, I'm just kidding. But you know, it's so funny because when you look at the root of a lot of those things, even sometimes the root of jealousy um, can be linked to a lack of thankfulness or a lack of gratitude for where you are and what you have and what you've already accomplished. And I was talking about Christmas because my kids, um, I have a couple of a kids, couple of kids. Uh, I have five kids, guys, five kids. And so Christmas is a big deal in my house. So pray for your boy. Don't just pray fast, fast for me, guys. But <laughs> listen, Christmas is a huge deal in my house because I make it a big deal. I mean, it's, I make it a big deal in our home. We go all out. Well, here's what's so interesting. Even though we go all out, we really, really, really push thankfulness and gratitude in our home uh, as we should. And so sometimes, you know, my, my younger kids, two years old, four years old, are just plowing through gifts. And I'm the kind of dad that will sit in a chair or some position and I will like, like we don't just go to town and just, it's like one at a time. He's opening, he's opening, he's opening. Everyone's opening their one gift. We stop, we make a, a point to acknowledge the gift and say thank you to the gift giver before moving on to the next one. Yeah, our family used to do that, but we just started doing that because like, yeah. we used to, like, have like 15 presents on a tree, open them all in like two minutes, go mm -hmm. to play with one at like for like four hours straight in a couple of days and don't yeah. even touch the other ones. And then you don't even touch the other ones. I think, I, what about you, same? We lived in Louisiana for eight years. Yeah. So we couldn't have Christmas with our family. Yeah. So we went with different. two, three years without spending Christmas with them and now we're back to it and that's what he means by we just started doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's because we haven't, had the chance to do it for yeah. years. What was it like? I, I think for so many people, I wanna ask you, I wanna lean into that for just a second. For so many people watching us today, they don't have a perfect family situation. They don't have a perfect home situation. They're not all sitting around a campfire eating delicious hot schmoes. Mm -hmm. Remember Toy Story, anybody? Mm -hmm. Any, okay, moving on. Uh, but not everyone's got that perfect table situation with the nice glasses and not everybody has that. And you know, you mentioned something a minute ago that I think you could you could maybe speak to somebody or maybe the fact that somebody can relate to you guys where there was a season where, not, not that it was terrible, but that maybe it wasn't normal as we know it or maybe as you know it now. What would you say to somebody who, per, both of you, either one of you, who perhaps isn't in a mo Hallmark movie perfect. I mean, we're sitting around this table. This is extraordinary, to be real. This, this, is, this is a great image of, of, I think most people would dream to sit at a table like this with, with this food on it. And I think, again, we can get so used to extraordinary things that we forget not only in our own hearts, this is a big deal, but for other people who may not experience it, what would you say to somebody to be thankful where they're at is kind of what I'm trying to say. What would you say to somebody? Be thankful for the family that's around you at the time because we went like four years straight without having Christmas with our whole family. It was just me, my mom, and my brother. And it, was, it wasn't the best, but you know, we had at least the family in our house, which we were loved, and it was amazing for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So you, you figured it out, mm -hmm. I mean, so to speak. You found ways to stay thankful. You found a reason to rejoice, a reason to be glad. I love that. Because I feel like everybody's in so many different situations and um, we're getting close to kind of wrapping this week up already. Uh, time's just escaping us. But, you know, I wanted to kind of tell this story because we've talked about, yes, this is Thanksgiving. Yes, it's November. Uh, but that attitude of gratitude, how it affects the rest of the year, it's a big deal. And so I'm so glad Thanksgiving comes first. My kids would just plow through <laughs> presents and I'd have to stop them. Just the same way Jesus called out the lepers. I have five kids. Is not a one of you thankful other than Liam? <laughs> right? Is not, a, is not a one of you thankful for all of this? And I think so many times being thankful is more than just thank you for getting me what I want, but thank you for your sacrifice. And so I just want to go all the way back to the very root and foundation of thankfulness as people but as Christians and as believers. I know it's not Easter, but I'm here to tell you, I'm so thankful for the cross. Man, I'm so thankful for the cross because I can literally say, Lord, I, I'm so thankful that I don't have a ticket to hell. 
Come on, I'm so, I'm seriously, I'm so thankful that heaven is actually an option for me. I'm so thankful that because of the cross, I can build my faith, I can believe God for more, I'm not stuck where I'm at. I'm so thankful. We have so much more to be thankful for. Not just thankful for the gifts, but thankful for the gift giver. And I know it's not a Christmas message, but there's something to say about the root of thankfulness and that us waking up every morning to say, Lord, because of what you've done, I have a reason to be thankful. I have a reason to rejoice. And I will make the decision to always, just like it said in Thessalonians chapter five, first Thessalonians chapter five, I will rejoice always because I have reason. See, we, we like to compare, oh, no matter what your circumstances are, dude, you've always got a reason to rejoice. <gasps> I just found a reason. I just found a reason. It's that simple. And so I just want to encourage everybody watching today, we've kind of sat together and I know we're out of time and I got to give you guys a Thanksgiving challenge, um, but you've got a reason to rejoice. You've got a reason to be glad and don't forget the gift giver of reasons to rejoice and be glad. Man, we are so out of time, but uh, one of you is gonna give the um, thankfulness challenge. Are you ready? Do you remember what it is? Uh, <laughs> so here, let me let me kick it off for you and I'll let you just finish it. So it was this. Uh, I wanted to encourage everybody today, and I think we both do, um, not to just live with a heart or just an attitude of gratitude. I think it needs to spill out into your actions. When's the last time you told somebody that you were thankful for them rather than just wake up and make up your mind that I'm gonna be thankful that day. When's the last time you told your dad you were thankful for him? I think the last time I told my dad I was thankful for him was like a couple of years ago. Jason, I hope you're watching this. <laughs> oh, He's I got something so to tell long. you. <laughs> I'm thankful for you, dad. All right, so challenge challenge our people today because we gotta, we gotta end this, okay? Or otherwise we're gonna sit here all day. I challenge you guys to tell your parents, your family, anyone that you really truly care about, that you're thankful for them, thankful for something they've done for you once a day for a month, a week however long you can do it for. Sure, and I would even go beyond that. I, even just the realistic side of things is maybe not even once every single day, but live a lifestyle that makes it a point to say thank you. All right, hey listen, we're, we're, we're way out of time and I'm so glad you joined us today for week three of Attitude of Gratitude. Well, we're gonna eat, so we will see you next week, bye-bye. Joyful heart, heart is good medicine. Good medicine. medicine. I'm Hannah. And, and I'm SG. <laughs> this is the Daily Dose. It's November and it's like Thanksgiving time. time. You can smell the pumpkin. Famous. I do have a story about pumpkins, real fast. I was walking my dog Beans and there was a pumpkin and she's like, la la. <laughs> That's whole... I learned she was scared of pumpkins. <laughs> Maybe it's just too orange for her. <laughs> she was like, not okay with the orange. <laughs> so today, I hate that. My sister is coming voice? on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> My sister Chloe! Hello, hello. We say ooh, ooh, look at that dance move. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's doing the daily dose. The daily, daily. doses. Good, Good medicine. medicine. <laughs> so this is your sister? No. <laughs> I you just picked a sister. <laughs> yeah, if we hold hands, does it look more real? Oh, Ew, okay. you pop your <laughs> we get weird when we're together. <laughs> I don't like it. Every time, every time from my kale, my husband, he's like, I don't know what happens to you <laughs> when you get with her. You just start singing really high pitched. Ooh, can you sing? Chloe? Snow White. Sing. Do the high pitch. Match my pitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long have you been sisters? Like, since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> How long? How long has it been? 400 years. Whoa! I am <laughs> so glad it's snapping. <laughs> it's snapping? It's snapping. It's snapping. It. <laughs> okay, so tell a funny memory. <laughs> so, funny should, memory. we were talking about this. Um, I just, I'll pick one. Just Chloe, tell make me sure what. You angle to the camera. Um, this is your so, camera over right here. Hi, I have watery eyes. <laughs> and that's our introduction. <laughs> My name's Chloe and I have watery <laughs> eyes. So what's something funny that's happened with um, us? I gotta get <laughs> Just tell, tell us. me about the sporks. So um our mother was sleeping <laughs> in the other room. <laughs> it starts off scary. <laughs> that's totally normal. She... Your mother doesn't sleep. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> okay. Mother sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> so she decided to make words together with forks and knives. I don't know. I was just inspired. It was Fenorx. Hannah? Yeah. She was took that what my I arms said? and we went like this in circles. And we were climbing on the couches. No, that was sing. you. Singing about <laughs> I was just singing. me. <laughs> you were on the convention team for Super Kid Academy. What's it like being a leader for kids in like a Christian environment as a teenager? Mm, that's a really good question. Thank it you. Was, on the spot. Thank you. It was cool. I. <laughs> they would like oh. copy you in worship? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was really weird at first, the first year, because I was confused what was happening. So what's it like, like having kids want to be like the Jesus within you? Like, what does that mean to you? It just makes me want to have more fun. <laughs> With Jesus? Yeah, <laughs> and doing that <laughs> to the kids. We do love Jesus. We do, so much. Okay. I need you to and tell a Grandma Cinnamon story. Oh, With someone Grandma asked Cinnamon? about this. Yeah. Can't, in, in your voice. In your Grandma Cinnamon, you got Two seconds. Two seconds, go. Yeah, tell a shark story. Yeah, tell your shark story. Okay, so one day I was in the lake and I was with my grandchildren <laughs> and they decided to go hop on a boat in the middle of the ocean and I was scared. <laughs> but then we saw a shark and then it ate us and I came back to laugh. <laughs> That's Grandma Cinnamon, folks. Thank you. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> I came back. Okay, game. Game. Okay, so 20 questions. All right, Touch I got my topic. Or All right, in three, two, one. Oh, is it a tall? No. This isn't is helping about my hand. Yes, it can be. It's not tall, is it? Is it an eyeball? No, I get it. I'm oh. next. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, go. It's yes or no questions. It's right. colorful. Mm -hmm. It can be. It can be. Is it alive? No. It's not alive. Is it an so app? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it electronic? These days. No. Is it a floor? No. <laughs> is it food? No. I don't know. Is it curly? <laughs> this is the questions no. we're going with? Lady, we only get 20. <laughs> okay, nine. Uh, is it a circle? No. Can it be a piece of wood? No. What? <laughs> I don't know. That's so specific. Can it be a piece of wood? I don't know. Um, this hand holding is not helping us. No. Is it outside? It can be. No, not are typically. Yes or no questions. Not typically. It's colorful and not typically wait, outside. Wait. Yeah. Can you eat it? No. Okay. I'm okay. trying to go through all the things I wrote down. No, just those questions. Okay, okay. That's not gonna help. It's not electronic. No. And it's not correlated with that? No. Okay, that's my question. I said it's not correlated, so that was my name. Is it hairy? <laughs> I don't know. These are ugly. It can be. I got closer. Is it a fruit? <laughs> no. <laughs> hairy All right. colorful. Final two questions. I've really lost track. Chloe, then Hannah. And then we have Is guess. it rubbery? No. Okay. Gosh, that's so specific. <laughs> <laughs> Is it related to teenagers? It can be. This is terrible. Okay, your guess. I can't guess first. I'm just gonna go to one of the What's ones I wrote guess? down. Uh, that's cheating. I know. TikTok. I don't know. No. <laughs> I talked about it when they're early. TikTok. It's <laughs> no correlation. Hey, there could be some colorful it's people. I really said it's not colorful. related to electronics. Uh, guess. I don't know. Your mother. <laughs> she can be colorful. <laughs> she can be. Hair dye. <laughs> Oh, that is terrible. Wait, how is it that It can't be outside. Because it's, it's on your hair. Oh, that's true. What about stores, lady? It can't be outside. <laughs> it's a yes or no question. It can be. If it's on my hair and I go outside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. I said it's it can be. Answer. And All right, it can well, be you know outside. What? This Wait. has been. <laughs> I think we should start our own dose. OK. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no I am mean, being amazing and you the can't. best disco yeah. host. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What do I have? This is Ben. <laughs> the... Hey, Chloe, your dream came true. <laughs> Chloe said, just No, it. it's her dream to be on the Daily Dose. It's and her this dream. has been the, the Daily, Daily Dose. Dose. Steven, you got the Wi Fi back on? No, but it's okay now. Are you sure it's okay? Because yeah, earlier. Okay. I have a piece about okay. it now. Oh, that's 
good. I really yeah. do. I really do. I mean, from yeah. the message, I basically got the Lord is my Wi-Fi, and yeah. I'm connected to the Lord, so I should be grateful. Exactly. Kind of exactly. actually, I forgot exactly. about my phone issue during the whole message. Just your phone out. You, you were staying focused. Yeah. That's exactly. a good 1440 yeah. student. That's staying what focused. you need to yeah. do. Absolutely. I hope that you guys have been putting them leaves in the conversations. Because oh we want to see the them. Leaf a comment. Of course we're on the Why are we on the leaf thing Because so much? one, it's fall, so there's leaves all around. Right, leaves all but around. But two, you got to leaf that attitude, you know? Just oh. like we left the attitude earlier, or leafed. Just let, let's, ma it? let's let yeah, the ministers minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I agree. okay. Yeah. Just 1440 as we go out. Mm -hmm. Remember, you were created on purpose. For a purpose. So go live on purpose.